Hi, so this is the recording of my couple's costume for Halloween. This is the costume for Jamie that I'm working on right here, and I'm going to be Cersei. Um, this is a coat that I bought from Goodwill. It is really long, and it has the potential to be Jamie's jacket, but it's not quite there yet. So I need to make it a little bit shorter, and I need to fix this collar. It's a little bit not what I would want. Um, there's also these weird straps on the things, and I want to add some little threading to the shoulders. It's something he had in one of his pictures. And this is how the bottom looks folded up as how I would want it lengthwise when I cut it. This is how the collar looks bent inwards, just to kind of give an idea of how it'll look. Doesn't that already look more medieval and stuff? So, yeah. These are the tools. My hot glue gun. My hot glue sticks. Then my really old pair of scissors. And my sewing kit. And a tray for the hot glue gun. This is how short the bottom is once I cut it. I left about three inches or so. And this is the little strap cut off. So at first I was using this cuts of fabric to sew the little straps on the shoulders. So I found out when you cut it, it kind of goes into two different pieces. And this is the plasticky leathery side that just comes right off and this is kind of like a piece of red fabric that's underneath and it does something really weird when you pull it or stretch it out it kind of snaps and like makes this weird string and I have another piece that I made like this works pretty well for like some kind of matching the string so and I put it on a bobby pin because I don't really have a needle that'll work for this This is the bottom folded up. So here is the jacket with the bottom cut off and the bottom is glued. And now here I'm showing the collar which is glued down too. Here's the threads on the shoulders. So I decided to use these cut off straps for something kind of cool. I wanted to make these button straps instead of just using the buttonholes. So this is just an idea of what they'll look like pinned on. Also, I'm considering changing these buttons. 
So this is the stitching that I did on the edge. I tried to make the edges that I cut look like they were actually finished. This is the button. It's really cute and I liked, it's pretty much the only button I have like this. So I just decided, you know what, um, I'm gonna make some molds out of it. So here is some air dry clay that I just pushed it into. You can see I made two. I finished doing the stitching on these little pieces, these little flaps or straps, I don't know what to call them. So this one looks the best out of the ones I've done. So you can see in the actual um, pictures of Jamie that he has two that are unbuttoned, but since the buttons are I think 13 centimeters apart, I couldn't really fit another. It would be like up on the collar up here. So I just added one and that makes it easier for me too. So I'll probably add a button just to this side of the shirt. I'll just zoom out a little bit. The straps look really cool. So something I'm running into is the hot glue doesn't actually stick on this material because it's just so slicky. I'm probably going to go in with a couple of stitches just right on the inside of the folds, like here, because you just have all this stuff peeling up and it's happening on the back of the collar, which I really don't like that, but anyway. Shopping spree at Michael's today. So I got this two pack of headbands. One I'm planning on using to make Cersei's crown. I know the Lannisters have so much gold, but I'm pretty sure her crown is silver. So, check it. Wire to build the frame. I'm gonna use this to possibly wrap the frame to give it more of like a, it's gonna look more sturdy this way instead of looking like just a wire sculpture, but I'm gonna see how much I use of that. And then they have the most amazing Halloween things for one dollar. They're so cute, right? Two slimes. I may keep one for myself and then I have this like Halloween surprise for the party or something. I don't know. Eyeballs. They are squishy. I saw these and I was like, whoa, bro. Anyway, glue. This was on sale for two dollars metal paint. This is for Jamie's bronze hand, or I mean gold, obviously. Eh, is it made of bronze? So I plan on going back and wrapping this whole thing with the silver cord because I think that will make this a little bit more thick looking and I'll probably add some hot glue trying to fill in some spots. So far it's kind of cute. If I left it like this I'd probably be fine, but I'd really like to add the wire or the twine What's the word? Cord. I'd like to add the silver cord. Chocolate covered peanut butter pretzels. Okay, so here's the molds I made for the cute little button. I put a little ball of air dry clay into the mold and now I'm flattening it and scraping the extra clay off the top with this exacto knife. Now I'm just rounding out the edges to make it look finished. This is a better picture of the imprint. So I decided to coat the whole wire frame with hot glue because it would make it thicker for the wire to wrap or for the cord to wrap around. And I think it kind of helps it stay in place because it's kind of sticky, you know? And so you can see here, I've already started wrapping. This is I have my bobby pin needle that I'm using. Mm done most of the band. I have right here. I haven't done any of the centerpiece. So I just finished doing a second coat on the button. And this is what the buttons look like from the jacket and I'm planning on painting them silver. And then they'll have this little gold middle. And this gold color I made kind, kind of a mixture of some things. I had this slow dry blending gel medium and then I just took that mixed it with metallic paint 
I think this is what helped a lot is I have this this is dollar store eyeshadow but it's very pigmented and speckly and I thought it would just add a nice bronzing effect like check out that Ooh. and I even added a little tiny sprinkle of this holographic So I just, you can see my hands are a little dirty, I just did my nails. I painted them and I did some black mixed with a little water. All you have to do is paint on some black and then wipe it off with your finger a little bit and it creates a really cool antique effect. So here I have the buttons painted silver and the gold button is glued in the middle. Now I have some black paint with water and I'm going to paint it onto these silver buttons to do the antiquing effect like I did to the gold ones. I'm trying to paint. I'm just trying to wipe, oops, <laughs> it's all a process, I'm just trying to wipe off bits of it, and you see it's not dirty or anything, but just look at how that looks compared to that, like that's so shiny. The most important thing is to get into the cracks. So that's how you give it like the most dimension and I can even on the top and we're gonna see if I can get some of those cracks on the letter okay let's see oh so you can see where the glue is it definitely leaves black over the glue And wiping them off only took about a couple seconds or maybe a minute per bead or button and mm, yes they're a little messy and they're not perfect but you want them to have a little mm, oh well. but luckily I only have five little spokes left other than that everything's covered and then when I'm done, I'm going to soak it with glue, and hopefully all of this silver stuff will stick. This is all drying. All this up here is trying to unfold, so I have textbooks and various books holding down the, the little edges. And hopefully they dry very soon. I finally glazed them, so hopefully they won't get scratched very easily. Hmm. Oh, here's one. There we go. And there it is. Cute. They kind of look like metal. I'm here to zoom in. Here is the jacket before I did anything. And here is the jacket now. So this is not going to be my best DIY of the group, but um, Jamie has a golden hand, and it's his right hand, and we bought these cheap gloves for $1 at the dollar store, and I am going to paint it with some white first, let that dry, 
then go in with my golden paint. Not very well. Now I'm planning on putting glue on it. Um, yeah, I just painted it. It's really wet. So this is the dress that I bought on Amazon for my Cersei costume. And I found this fluffy little kid's jacket at Goodwill. And I think it would work for her shawl. I just need to do a little trimming and making it look a little different. And I cut the bottom of the sleeve. You have to get the top sleeves. Here is the little wolf on. Here's his tail. And here is his head. And I sewed little ears on. He doesn't have eyeballs or anything. So here's the finished product. I hope you guys like this video and I hope that you're inspired to make something cool. Thanks for watching. Bye!